time I play one of these games, it's the same thing. I always remember playing it before, even though I don't really remember playing it. And I end up playing it for freaking hours. That's because most of these games are pretty much identical, none more so than this one, and yet they're still kind of awesome. Does that make any sense? It's Jewel Master, Cradle of Egypt 2 3D. So when Cradle of Egypt 2 hit the Nintendo DS in 2012, I mentioned in my review that it was almost identical to the first Cradle of Egypt. Now here we are a year later, and I'm saying this one is identical to Cradle of Egypt 2, because I mean, it's just a 3D version of that one. And if you're confused, don't worry, it's a match 3 puzzler, it's all you need to know. And I'm serious about that, all you need to know to play this game is that 3 is good. Just swap two tiles to match three or more tiles. Clear all the colored squares, clear the puzzle. That's it. Although there's a whole separate element to Cradle of Egypt 2, you don't even need to understand it, because it, I mean, it sort of just happens by itself. It's always been my one complaint about these games, and sadly it still hasn't changed. So what about that other element? Well, it's kind of like Puzzle Quest in that there's kind of an adventure here, only nowhere near as pronounced or well designed. You progress from one period of time to the next, but I mean, it never really feels like a progression. In between puzzles, there's this element of like, like building settlements by doing these slide puzzles, only you don't even have to. You just skip them. And you collect resources in the puzzles by matching certain tiles. And you need a certain amount of certain resources to progress, which makes sense, but there doesn't really seem to be any other purpose for them. It's like, you know, this whole civilization element of the game it's just so obtuse and unclear, you never really know what you're doing. But again, it just happens automatically anyway. You never know what you're doing or collecting, but somehow you move on. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Because the gameplay's so addictive, it doesn't even matter. I'd love for the game to lay out its civilization element in a really clear way with obvious mechanics and objectives. Whatevs. I'm, I'm fine with just matching tiles, too. It's not that this game does it especially well or anything, but there's just something about sliding tiles to make matches that just works. It just keeps you playing. Maybe that's why these games are such a hit with people. Just good, mindless, dependable fun. The 3D effect's kind of a weird thing to add, though, because the game doesn't really use the top screen for anything. During the puzzles, you just get this, you know, this picture, and now it happens to be in 3D. All the gameplay takes place on the bottom screen, which doesn't even support 3D. So frankly, I, mean, I didn't even notice the 3D effect until I really paid attention to it. It's just sort of, you know, sort of there. More than anything, it's just an excuse to get this game on the 3DS. A year after, it hit the original DS. And that's the thing, I mean, it's not like this is some radical new entry for the series. This is very much Cradle of Egypt 2 3D, which is to say, same game, fancy 3D effects. And for a series of games that's already very familiar from one to the next, I mean, that's definitely worth pointing out, but for those looking for a really solid match 3 puzzler on their Nintendo DS, the banks of the Nile are as fertile as ever in Cradle of Egypt 2 3D. I just feel like I've been here before on a on a boat.